What's going on YouTube? Crypto for Change here. Excited to bring you guys a video today going over Opulus. If you've been following the channel, I've been showing you guys this one here and there. I'm just telling you why I'm excited for it, why I'm buying it. I just wanted to do a little breakdown about what it is, go a little bit more in depth on you know what industry it's trying to disrupt and just where it's moving and where I see it going in the future. So make sure you watch through the whole video. There's gonna be tons of information on this one. If you love the content I'm putting out, make sure to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future content as we will be doing a crypto giveaway at 500 subscribers and we are rapidly approaching that. And let's get it. So I'm over here on coinmarketcap.com. Let's take a look at Opulus. So the ticker symbol is OPUL. Underneath it here, you'll see their website where you can click to find out more information. We will be going over that here in a second, as well as their community tab. So they're on Telegram, Twitter, Medium. Then as you come over, you'll see where they're trading at right now, which is $1.3, down 3% on the day. Um, and under here, the reason why you're not gonna see the market cap and the circulating supply numbers is because just how new this project is. They haven't gathered enough data to really have all that yet, but you will see that the max supply is 500 million, which is actually pretty low in comparison to something like an Algorand where its max supply is 10 billion. So with a 500 million uh, max supply, if this thing takes off the way I think it could, there is nothing holding this coin back from being a $25, $50 plus coin, which I see, as you can tell with the price at $1.3, massive, massive potential. Then as we come on down, I'm just going to uh, select the three month here just because it's not even been out three months, but it's going to show us the full graph here of where it's went. When it started, it started at actually five cents and ran all the way to 340. The reason why I know it went as high as 340 is because yours truly was one of the people who bought that high. Now, I obviously bought as well on the way down, which it came down into that 60 cent to 70 cent range. Since then, uh, this past weekend, we really had a climb up to $1.10, so it ran back up. It was awesome. It was exciting seeing that 30% uh, you know, run up. But if you know me, you know that I'm not selling. Right now, I have all of my Opulus coins staked over on Qcoin, and I'm earning that 35, 36% APY, and just earning that free passive income. Because as this thing grows, you know, I just see huge potential. So I'm not worried about trading it. I'm buying, holding, staking, and waiting. So now I wanna bring you guys over to their website. So the first thing you'll notice here is that you can put your email in and register to receive any updates directly from them. I highly recommend doing that if you wanna stay updated on this project and where it's going. As we come down, it's just gonna go over a little bit about what they do and you know, three areas where they're gonna be having an impact and an ability to really grow. The first one is their NFT launch pad, which is just where they're gonna be able to make copyrighted backed NFTs on music from artists who are gonna be putting out new music through the Opulus app. They're also gonna be taking advantage of the DeFi space with their loans backed by future royalties of those artists. So now artists can get a more fair shake uh, as they grow. It's not gonna be some centralized entity controlling them and where their music path goes. They'll have more control on the trajectory of their career and who's benefiting the most. And I think that has massive potential as well with just some of the shady stuff you see going on uh, with music artists today and how the labels are just, you know, they end up doing everything for what's best for them and not really what's best for each artist. And the last thing that I wanna go over with is the NFT exchange. So if you see here, they're gonna have an NFT exchange where you not only can buy NFTs, but fractional NFTs and play a part in sharing revenue alongside your favorite artists. I mean, that right there is just mind blowing to me. I cannot imagine earning money alongside my artists because I'm supporting them or I've been supporting them through buying their NFTs, which I just think is huge, especially if you look at the likes of OpenSea on Ethereum or AB2 Gallery or Rand Gallery on Algorand. The NFT marketplace is just blowing up. And I only think that Opulus is gonna be able to capitalize on this m even more with the fact that you'll be able to earn royalties from your favorite artists as they grow. Also, if you click here, tokenomics, this will take you to a PDF of just a little bit more information on what Opulus is and what it's doing. So let's go ahead and look at that. The first thing I wanted to look at is just their product viability. So Opulus is a music industry first with no direct competitors and only a small number of other projects occupying the same space. The Opal token can be used to receive special discounts across the platform 
and token holders will also get exclusive access to major NFT drops. Opulous founder Lee Parsons is also the CEO of global music distribution platform Ditto Music. And this partnership will introduce the platform to over 500,000 musicians worldwide from launch. So not only are they an industry first and are going to be one of the first cryptocurrencies to make waves in this industry, but they have a huge backing with Ditto Music and all the musicians that are already working through that system. And if you come down, this will also show the NFT side and how Opulous is going to better leverage themselves against some of the most popular ones out there like OpenSea, Rarible, I would even throw AB2 Gallery, Rand Gallery, as far as NFT exchanges go. Opulous, some of the big ones here, they're copyright backed, which is huge, gives you a lot of security. Fractional, meaning if you can't afford, you know, the newest CryptoPunk that's going for 11 million or however much it goes for, you'll be able to buy fractional NFTs just like if you couldn't afford a full share of Tesla at $800 or $2,000 or whatever it's at, you could just put $100 on it. You'll be able to do the same thing on Opulous, which I believe is amazing and definitely shows a more inclusive environment than some of the others out there. And you're helping to fund new musicians, which I believe is awesome. As you come down, you'll also be able to see their roadmap. Right now we're in quarter four, 2021, which is their DeFi component launch. And then next year at the in the first quarter will be the music NFT exchange launch. So you're gonna see a lot of stuff happening here over the next six months, which I'm really excited about. I'm glad I was able to get in on this project early uh, and just really be a part of the entire ride as we're going through it. Also, I do want to mention that this is a project that's being co-built not only on Algorand, but also on Ethereum. So there are ERC-20 tokens or version of this you can get as you buy from Qcoin, which is where I buy mine. There are also some other exchanges as well. Go check out CoinMarketCap for that. But it's, you know, it's going to be dual. So it's going to have the marketplace from two major blockchains supporting this. As you come down, you can see the advisors uh, that are behind Opula, as well as the senior team. I follow Lee Parsons on Twitter. I think he's really funny. A lot of people joke around with him and he keeps it real lighthearted. I think he's, you know, he's gonna be a visionary for this industry and I think he's really gonna change the market. So I love following him and just seeing what updates and just what crazy stuff he posts out there to keep people like me following along. And then as you come down, I'll show you here is just some of their investors and partners. Obviously, Ditto Music is the one that's bringing those 500,000 artists along with it. Uh, Algorand, Rand Labs, R3, Trustverse, Basic, Sumsing, Minimal, big names that are out there that are backing this crypto coin. And I am super excited for Opulus's future. You can also see their token release schedule. So it's on a three, uh, 35 month um, release schedule. So getting in right now, you can see over time how these tokens being inflated into the market is gonna maybe affect price. But just know that when I'm buying, I'm buying for 5, 10, 15 years. And so after that three year, you know, release schedule is done, it only further shows how big this token could get um, as the pressure and the, and just the desire to want to own some of this project could really just push this price up above $50 plus. Like I said, that could be, you know, five years down the road, 10 years down the road, but I am in it for the long haul and I'm super excited to see how it grows as time goes on. And that's pretty much all I wanted to go over in this video. There's tons of other information that you can get uh, by going to opulus.org. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. You don't want to miss out on the crypto giveaway that's coming at 500 subscribers. It's going to be massive. There's going to be three winners, first, second, and third place. And I'll be releasing here in the coming weeks as we get close what those prizes are going to be. So make sure to share it with your friends, tell your family, because we're trying to create change in the crypto space. And the only way we can do that is by sharing what we know. So don't hold all this into yourself. Be sure to share it with others. Thanks for clicking on the video and let's get out there and make some money.